an example of how we can downscale the one four kilometer forecast from Norwegian Meteorological Institute using the NORA and SWAN. So, so let's start. Uh, first, uh, we activate uh, the Conda environment of the NORA. We will open a IPython uh, since we are going to run it line by line. So, first, uh, we import the Dinora functions that we are going to use. So the first thing is that we set the, uh, the grid. Uh, in this case we will select the grid around Olesund in the west coast of uh, Norway. We give the name of the project Olesund 300 since we are going to have a 300 meter uh, uh, spacing in the, in the grid. So so let's run uh, these commands that define the grid, the grid object. Uh, after finishing this, we are going to set the topo reader. In this case, we are going to use the Kartverket 50 meter grid resolution for the bathymetry. So we're going to use this function here. Uh, so let's uh, find the topo reader. And then we import the bathymetry and at the same time we will also make the message. So this bathymetry can be found in the Geonorge website and uh, has this deep, deep data um, and is the Terrain Modeler 50 meters grid. So we can find it here. Uh, you can download the area that you are um, interested and in this case for this issue because we have uh, multiple of these uh, domains here we just uh, add in the tile star so the program can search in all of them and find the longitude and latitude that we are uh, interested otherwise you can just put the name of the tile that, that you have uh, uh, here so, um, yeah, so uh, missing also the grid and then we will continue with uh, the setting the boundaries. Uh, in this case, uh, we, uh, we are using uh, the north uh, boundary, the west and, and the south as we see here in the edges. So north, west and south and the step is 20 so every 20 grid points we get the boundary in uh, uh, in the domain uh, here so let's uh, set boundaries and into the grid object so here we are then we continue uh, to set up our model object so in this case we uh, are going to use swan and uh, with a start time and end time as we see uh, here um, yeah and then we are ready to import uh, the boundaries so we have boundaries uh, from one four kilometers uh, I can show you here that is it from this website here threads.met.no uh, with my wave 14. So the data is coming from, from this uh, catalog here. And then we are ready to import the wind forcing that it's from the maps product. So um, so the MAPS uh, uh, product uh, is located in this uh, uh, catalog here. So um, Dinora is searching for the, um, the CDA file that has the win data for the time that we have chose. So uh, in this case, uh, we read this uh, CDA file that it was 
in this link here. So uh, after this we are ready to plot the grid. This is of course optional uh, in the way to see how the grid looks like and this creates also a folder that we have also we will have also the information and the output files. So let's see here is how the grid looks like. So with the X we see here the is the available spectra from the one four kilometer while with the stars we see is the boundary points that we have set and with the red dots is the forcing from maps the color represents the, the depth so Oleson is located somewhere here and Sula Fjord is this fjord here so the grid looks um, okay so then uh, we continue uh, to uh, to export now uh, the grid force one typing model dot export grid so here we have it so here is the ASCII file that contains the grid while we have also another one file that has some information about this uh, uh, this grid uh, yeah and then uh, we continue with the, to export the boundaries so to create a ASCII file that has the boundaries for this one run so this is uh, this one here as we see here that contains the 2d spectra for the um, swan run the next step is to export the forcing so model.export forcing and then we get the the wind uh, file that looks like this here and the final step uh, for exporting the um, files for swan is to export the input parameter file that is going to um, be used by swan so here is all the information inside this um, uh, file and then uh, we have all actually the files that uh, are the input files for 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 swan we have the wind forcing the uh, spectral boundary we have the the grid in this dot bot uh, file and we have also the input parameter file the dot swn so then we are ready to uh, run uh, to run swan via um, uh, dinora so then swan uh, start running from the date that we gave from the start time until the end time with that we have defined in the model object yeah Thank you.